democracy. It is very unfortunate that a country in a democratic room that the former chairman of, uh, of ABC and the current uh, chief of staff of President Buhari, Professor Gambari, are involved in a plot to undermine and truncate democracy in our country. And so we want to bring this to the attention of the media and international community. Much has been said, but we need to emphasize that we cannot continue to allow this anti-democratic persons in the government of Buhari to bring us back and to remind us of the bitter years of the military rule. This is very important to the press and very important to the Nigerian people. As usual, when you address issues of importance that borders on free press and freedom of press, um, the president handlers will quickly rush to the press and come up with all sorts of conspiracy theories and theories. I, I don't know who they want to convince, whether they believe that they, they are talking to Nigerians who are aware of the destruction of democracy in Nigeria by the APC. It is no longer fashionable and it is no longer obtainable. Nobody believes any part or anyone in government when they roll out these lies to the public. And so the president and last should be aware and should be careful that these positions are temporary, these positions with no time they will be over, and the Nigerian people knows they know the truth. And so there's no way, either you are an advisor on press or media, whatever you are called, you come out and be defending what is not, <laughs> what cannot be defended. This video is at the domain of the public. And I want you media people to carry out your investigation. And today, we are saying that it's capable that conspiracy in the villa under the watch of Mr. President it has the capacity to truncate democracy in Nigeria. And our advice is that the President should call his chief of staff all the security agencies to order because that is the right thing to do in a democratic dispensation you know just the silence and the handlers comes out with all sorts of theory oh video is good which video? government um, 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 villa was seen uh, Gambari was seen it was audible that they should clamp down on PDP stakeholders. That is part of the agenda for a new election. And they are aware that they are not on the ground. They are aware that they cannot win the election. Obasiki has performed very well. The issue of performance is not at stake, but it's the issue of Godfatherism and who they like or how the APC government with usual strategy hijack the processes and announce whoever they want to announce. That will totally, in a crisis period like this, 
COVID-19 had weighed down on Nigerians and you are raising tension in the country, we want to let the president know that whatever that is happening and the tension in this country is caused by his handlers and the chief of staff and the former chairman of APC. We have tensions in the north, tension northeast, northwest, everywhere. And yet, they are in the villa under the watch of Mr. President want to use the securities to clamp down. Are we in police state? People cannot freely speak. I want to remind the media that when Jonathan was the president, I know some strong, very strong APC stalwarts, in fact the national leader of APC. One of the comments he said, the government of Jonathan, Jonathan in particular, was clueless. He was not invited by S um, 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 SSS. He was not harassed. He was not intimidated. But you are aware that Nahaba has been invited. The former deputy governor of um, uh, uh, Central Bank has been invited. People, you want to scare the people from talking. It cannot work because this is democracy. People must freely address issues. Whether they are religious bodies, they see the ills of government, they see the ills of the society. They are freely, they can address the issues so that government can take correction. Which government is perfect? What are they defending? We call on the international community that those who are involved to undermine democracy and truncate it adequate punishment to be meted to them so that others should learn especially when the chief of staff of the president the center of activities of this government is involved in this conspiracy, then the international community should take him on. Their visas should be cancelled. Because this is democracy. From 19, uh, 2019, we have been stressing the point of look, elections have been rigged, too much of military presence, manipulations and all that, no change in character, no change in style, the same style in Bayasa, in Kogi, and you want to take it to Edo, we will not allow it. The whole world will hear our, our, our complaint. The country is already saturated with, with pains and, and tension. Why do you want to inflict the people with pains? And so today, I believe that the, the media, if the power is taken away from the media, because that's the next line of action where they are going, where this government is going, is to stop the press. And we call upon all of you and the international community to watch very well, not only Edo, even in Ondo, forthcoming election. And we urge Mr. President, once again, to conduct free and fair election.
to conduct it should be seen it should not be rhetoric by anybody in government nobody wants to believe no Nigeria nobody believes government anymore if you like come out to defend come out to issue press conferences no or press statements nobody believes them anymore I will leave um, at this point, at this juncture, that, that if you have any issue to, to ask or questions to ask, you can now ask your question. Good demonstration. These are part and parcel of democracy. We will continue to do that. Whether the government listens or not, it's been recorded. It is for the best interest of government even to see the truth in some of these either protests or some of our comments. Not to come out and uh, come against it. I don't want to say any reason why um, PDP should uh, talk on the issue of economy and security. We will continue is part of our responsibilities to call the attention or bring to the attention what is happening in our society. We will not fail in our duty to do that. If in the process they blackmail us, they climb on us, the international community will continue to do the needful, the protest, until the writing is done. We believe that if nothing is done to change the situation, they will see it. Nigerians are getting <laughs> worried, and if they don't feel the temperature of the situation in the country today, I, I don't think they will do. They, 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 they are doing themselves uh, my good. They should know what is going on. They should know what is going on. It is no longer a, 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 a place where they will continue government, media or handlers will continue to defend government. You don't defend anything. <laughs> we are already on the ground. People are in pain. People are being killed on a daily basis all across the country. Hunger all across. We will address you when the time comes on these issues. But today is the issue of leaked um, uh, video, the conspiracy between the chief of staff and the former chairman of APC, Comrade Oshimole, that if that is allowed in those states, that will tr truncate democracy in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.